like the analogy that Nicholas Kristof uses in his book, Half the Sky. And uh, half the sky is a, is a Chinese proverb. It's taken from a proverb that talks about the fact that women hold up half the sky. That women are not the problem in the world as they're sometimes portrayed, but that they are an answer to the problem that empowering women, particularly in the developing world who live in extreme poverty, that when you empower a woman, you empower a family and an entire village to um, make their lives better. Linda Eggle grew up on a farm in Nebraska. She was an ACU student in the early 1970s, earned degrees in home economics and biblical studies. She studied theology in Oxford, England. As a flight attendant for United Airlines, she traveled the world for 27 years but didn't really see it until 1988 when she made a mission trip to India. In its rural villages, she saw women who touched her heart. What she saw convinced her to use her God-given talents to help them learn the entrepreneurial skills necessary to provide for their families in life-changing ways. In this country, we often talk about our women who are disadvantaged, and we certainly have them. But they're disadvantaged in places in the world that we cannot even imagine. We can't imagine the kind of oppression that many of these women face. Hi. Welcome to Eternal Threads. I'm Linda. Linda was inspired to start Eternal Threads, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to improve the lives of women and children most at risk of extreme poverty, trafficking, and other forms of exploitation by providing sustainable livelihoods through income generating projects. From India to Madagascar to Nepal to Thailand and Afghanistan, Linda has discovered a way to outlive her life. Linda works with indigenous partners who help her find three kinds of local artisans. Those who already make a great product, but only need a market in which to sell it. Those who make something of great skill, but who need help improving it. And others who must first be rescued from trafficking and exploitation, and then taught a life-changing, marketable skill. Linda's business partners are committed to each woman's spiritual and economic well-being. It's a relationship-building enterprise that creates remarkable opportunities for good. Eternal Threads is successful, I think, in part because Linda's got a great eye for design. She, uh, she knows what kinds of fabrics and designs and looks appeal, and she uses that gift that she has uh, to design products and to work with the women in, uh, around the world who are making those products. Uh, so she employs the gifts that she has in ways that um, uh, really bloom and, and blossom. What makes Eternal Threads work is that it's, it's driven by story and it's framed by story. I had a chance to sit across a table from a woman in Madagascar and have her tell me that when she sells more of her weaving, she can buy extras for her family like meat and butter. It's amazing to even think that those are, those are extras. And so when we, we keep that in mind, and I, and I think most of the people who buy from Eternal Threads, who give to Eternal Threads, they're thinking of those stories. At the heart of Eternal Threads is the love of Christ, the compassion that Christ has had for those who were disadvantaged, for the poor, for the widow, for the orphan. Yes, when you go to a trunk show, you see beautiful scarves and bracelets and bags, but they represent so much more. They represent women and children whose hands have worked hard to produce them that they may have a better life. And so if that's not Jesus in our world, I don't know what is. Hey, I'm good. It's nice to talk to you. Sorry I missed your call. Linda chose Abilene as the home for Eternal Threads because she wanted to be near the university and its students. One thing I absolutely love about Linda is that she is always open to new ideas. She never shuts us down whenever we come to her with a crazy dream of ours. And so she's always open to new projects. And I think it's important that she's able to be humble in that way and letting other people come in and, and live out their dreams. We call that farm silk. Faculty create service learning projects that bring students her way and give them valuable practical experience, as well as help develop a heart for volunteerism that enriches their lives as well as their education at ACU. When the students are exposed to eternal threads and opportunities like that, 
I think it makes them more determined than ever to, uh, to go do something like that themselves. And they already are. I mean, the Red Thread movement is students finding out about a situation through eternal threads and then starting an extension of that organization uh, right away, beginning to, to put what they've learned to work. It's a really good project. Yeah. And I think Our company is a really client of the new Morrison Mitchell uh, student-run PR agency at ACU. We're advertising and PR majors help Eternal Threads refine its marketing and expand its influence. As a teacher at ACU, one of the courses I teach is International Poverty and Development. And uh, I'd had several development opportunities, but I always look for those opportunities where I can continue to practice and continue to uh, be involved in development. And uh, so I saw it as a, as a great blessing to, uh, to be able to practice what I teach and uh, to bring my students with me and to allow them as well to engage in the kinds of service and the kinds of uh, education that we were talking about in class. The difference that the ACU students make for Eternal Threads just really can't be measured. Their volunteer hours that they spend at the warehouse doing whatever tasks need to be done, packing, unpacking, sweeping the floor. Um, uh, I don't think we can survive without them. And their input, their help over the last few years when we were expanding was um, extraordinarily important. Even just helping out in the warehouse, putting the uh, product away, you hold it in your hands and know that a woman handmade this. And that just really creates a deeper connection between the person buying the product and the person who made it. In January, Linda took three ACU students, Brittany Partridge, Samantha Sutherland, and Rachel Kohler with her to Nepal. She wanted them to see the difference that their work makes each day among the women who live in a strikingly beautiful, but often perilous part of the world. Meeting the girls sticks with me a lot, and the stories that they told us and just their personal life stories are a constant reminder to the work that I'm doing just because they're so real and they're so much like us even though we're so far away from them. Brittany, Samantha, and Rachel helped develop the Red Thread movement that has opened new doors in South Asia and created awareness among thousands of college students. They buy and wear a simple red bracelet to help make a living for Nepali girls and to remind others of their great need. This is actually one that one of the girls made for me and she tied it on my wrist and so I definitely had to keep it on after that so I took off my old one but it, it means so much more having her tied it on for me. I'm never taking it off. <laughs> Students are looking for an opportunity to engage, and Eternal Threads provides an international opportunity, a global opportunity, where students can bring their skills, their knowledge, their education, their faith, um, and put it to work. I had the desire and the passion and the motivation to do something that really made a difference in these women's lives, and that's sort of what keeps me going. And when you see, and I'm so lucky that I get to go and I meet them and I see them, when you see the difference it makes in their lives, you really can't quit. No matter how discouraged you get or how much the workload is, you just have to keep going but you, because you've seen what little bit that you do, what a difference it makes. In terms of missional understanding, we often talk about living in God's preferred future. And that's what outliving your life means. It means not only looking for where God is at work in our world, but looking where, for where God most wants us to go and most, most wants us to serve. And so Eternal Threads is something that does that. It's bigger than Abilene. It's bigger than India. It's bigger than Nepal. It's in many ways even bigger than this world. It's a multi-faceted, multi-generational ministry that will have effects for years and years on generation after generation of women and children.